Natalie Rowe, and I'm the director of the physics division at the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. LBL is a, a large, uh, multi-purpose uh, national laboratory uh, funded primarily by the Department of Energy. And we do an amazing range of science. We have over 20 scientific divisions. Uh, we do everything from fundamental physics uh, in particle physics, cosmology, nuclear science, uh, to biofuels, uh, photovoltaics, batteries, genomics, uh, chemical sciences, material sciences. Uh, we have a number of national user facilities, including the Advanced Light Source, NERSC Supercomputer, the Molecular Foundry, and others. So we're a great resource uh, for the country for all kinds of basic science. I got interested in particle physics when I was an undergrad at Harvard. I had the opportunity to work for Carlo Rubia, uh, who later went on to win a Nobel Prize. And after I graduated um, uh, from undergrad, I went to CERN and I worked on the UA1 experiment, which uh, later discovered the W and Z bosons. And from there, I went to grad school at Stanford. I worked at SLAC on a small experiment called uh, ASP, the no Anomalous Single Photon Experiment, trying to look for supersymmetry um, back, in, uh, back in the 80s. I and mean, we're still looking for supersymmetry today. So uh, we made a good start uh, back then. Um, after that, um, I moved to Lawrence Berkeley Lab, where I've made my career ever since. And I've, there I've had the opportunity to work on a wide variety of uh, interesting experiments, uh, first in particle physics, uh, and then uh, moving into the area of cosmology and designing and building instruments uh, to further our understanding, uh, not just of the smallest uh, 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 scales in particle physics, but of the largest scales in cosmology, uh, doing experiments like the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and uh, the Dark Energy Survey, uh, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, and now uh, these, the CMB experiments like SO. Two things about physics uh, attracted me. Uh, number one, uh, uh, physics, and in particular part of particle physics, is trying to get at the very most fundamental building, bro building blocks of the universe. And so it's just really fascinating that uh, we can uh, understand uh, what, what matter is uh, made of. And then from there, through cosmology, understand how the universe evolved to where it is today. Uh, and number two, because it was hard. I was uh, very uh, interested in being challenged, and I found physics to be one of the most challenging subjects that I studied. At the LBL Physics Division, uh, we are doing basic research across uh, a wide uh, domain of uh, topics. So we're, we're studying the Higgs boson. Uh, we have a big group that's working at CERN on the ALICE experiment, studying uh, the Higgs boson and looking for new particles, uh, supersymmetry, and so on. Uh, we're working in neutrino uh, experiments all over the world. Um, and we're working in um, uh, cosmology, look, trying to understand dark energy, uh, trying to discover dark matter, and uh, working on the problem of uh, you know, inflation through um, CMB experiments. We also have a theory group, and we also do a lot of basic detector R&D. And because we have NERSC at LBL, we do a lot of computing as well. Well, I think it would be just incredibly exciting to detect the signature of inflation, because we, we have a lot of theories that point to inflation, um, but we don't know uh, really uh, uh, how it happened or the details of the physics. And we're really uh, data starved here. We have thousands of theories, but we don't have a single experimental detection. So we really need to scale up and get more precision and more sensitivity. And I, I think it would be fantastically exciting if we really got, um, were able to detect the B modes and know that uh, inflation happened and be able to say something about um, how it happened.